schools do not tend to nurture and sometimes even ignore, uh, I call, I call them non-academic abilities, abilities that um, are not typically represented in academic curriculum, notably the mechanical and spatial abilities yep. too. Jonathan Y and other people have made um, uh, similar types of pronouncements. We could yeah. be uh, missing some Einsteins. Uh, he's published a paper called the Missing Einsteins. These are people who might have high levels of ability uh, but, uh, focused on but spatial. But the schools uh, just aren't, abilities. yeah, the schools just aren't teaching about spatial and aren't, aren't focusing on it. Reminds me of David Lubinsky, who of course has, has co-authored with, um, Jonathan, uh, he calls yep. spatial ability, the sleeping giant of cognitive yep. abilities. It's incredibly important and we almost never train it in schools and, and even less, especially in this day and age with mechanical abilities. Certainly very reasonable to say that schools don't emphasize these abilities, nor, by the way, Russell, do the academic aptitude test that I mentioned before, notably the nope. SAT and ACT. <laughs> the SAT and ACT are widely used, uh, you know, to, uh, to select people for college, um, yet they contain a verbal and math subtest. The, the ACT also contains, but they're relatively um, uh, devoid of items that measure mechanical and spatial abilities, unfortunately. Yeah. So... Um, and that may be one of the many reasons why these types of abilities, spatial and mechanical, are not emphasized. So, well, um, so that was the we've second. Got, Go ahead. We've got spatial subtests on the riot. So, you know, maybe we'll just fill that void. Ah, that's, by the way, wonderful, wonderful.